Hey hey! Is that time of the month again? It's time for me to tell you about all the things that I've been liking recently. I can't believe it's April. I know I say this every month, but seriously, I didn't even do a month much favourite because the time just went like it's just gone. And I'm here, it's end of April. My time in London is running out. I've only got a few more weeks and I'm like panic mode. I can't believe this is happening. But I have a few things that I've really been enjoying that I want to share with you. So it's kind of like my April favorites, my spring favorites, and let's just get thrown into it. So first up is a product from Green People. And this is the Beauty Boost Skin Restore. And guys, this product is amazing. I love it so much. It kind of comes a time in my life where I realise I have to spend more time on my skin to look after myself more because, guys, I'm getting old. Okay, not really that old, but I'm getting older. I'm starting to see a few fine lines and it's just like, you know, maybe need to look after myself a little bit more than I used to do in my teens when I just kind of did absolutely nothing. So, Green People has recently released this which is like a mini facial in a bottle it's kind of like a leave-in treatment but for your skin you could use it like once in a while when you just really feel like you need a little pick me up i've been using it recently i kind of use it almost every day for like a week because i really felt like my skin needed it now i feel like it feels so much better so now i'm kind of back to using it maybe once or twice a week and it's just been so amazing like my skin feels so good so soft and it's really thick and creamy and it's just so lovely on my skin and i just couldn't recommend it more it's so nice it's only like 18 19 pounds something like that seriously it'll last you quite a while because you don't need to use it daily it feels so much better it feels so much fresher and it just feels like your skin just get that extra little glow that you need like it feels healthier right away like when you feel really dehydrated it feels like it's just a big splash of water in your face kind of thing it just feels so good so yeah it's definitely been something i needed a lot recently and it's just been really incredible so that's my first favorite from green people so next product is the quinoa and probiotics deodorant and seriously, it's their best deodorant I've used. Like, it's sometimes hard to get like a really good natural organic deodorant, but Green People really managed to hit the nail on the head and it's made it so good. It's long lasting, it smells lovely, it feels really fresh and you just don't have to worry. And sometimes like, many deodorants they feel great first, but then like for the end of the day, you're kind of like, I really kind of should have brought my deodorant with me because I kind of need to reapply. But with this, I really feel like it's really long lasting and like a whole day at work. Because being a hairdresser, I'm always having like my arms over my upper inside my face and stuff. Like I get quite self aware <laughs> of like any smell or anything. I'm just a bit like, oh, no. But with this, I just haven't really had to worry and I just felt really comfortable. And yeah, it's just been so great. And also, it's been really active, it's been really good and also my husband's been using it as well so and he really enjoys it too so yeah it's a really really good product so green people you've done good so my next favorite is a bit unusual it's also three products as in one I'm trying to hold them all in one hand and I can't so it's these from Afrocentrix and Afrocentrix is a, a Afro hair care brand made up of Jocelyn and my friend Rachel and they are a London based and they are like so amazing like seriously uh, they so they started off a few years ago with just really wanting better Afro hair care products these are all like fair trade they're organic they're cruelty free and it's just seriously so good and you can wonder like why am i talking about afro hair products here it's a swedish blonde girl like what are you doing but let me tell you first of all my husband steven has afro hair so i do know what i'm doing because i do his hair all the time and i normally twist his hair every two weeks 
And so we've been using all these products. So what I've been using on him is the Supernatural Scalp Oil, which has been really good for his scalp. Like it's really made his scalp so much better. Like both looking and feeling so much better. Like before, we just really like build up of all products. And it's really getting really itchy after a few days. But like this one has been improved his scalp so much. So the Sil, the Natural Conditioning Hair Oil. And this has just been really good for like the days where it just needs a little bit extra moisture on the ends and just sort of playing that, it's been amazing. And then the Smooth Natural Hair Moisturiser is normally after we've washed it and just before we start twisting it. And it's just been such a great conditioner, leave-in treatment and i just really big fan of these. They improve Steven's hair condition, improve his scalp condition and these smell so good like they're very citrusy and it's just like it's so like really really fresh and it's like fresh it smells so fresh and nice when like it's like i feel like really love using them on my even on my hands and stuff like it just feels really good in considering like some other products i'm just like oh, so greasy so horrible like i just really don't like it so this has been a pleasure to work with. I'm just a, such a huge fan of these products. And what I've recently also been doing is actually using the Sil, the conditioning hair oil, on my hair. Just on the very ends, when I feel like it's a little bit dry, a bit frizzy, I use just like a drop or two of it on my ends of my hair and it just feels so much better. It's removed all frizz and it's just amazing. So I would say like it was good for even not only afro hair, but also for anyone with like really thick coarse hair. There's often like people with really curly hair and stuff like that. I think it would be a really good product to try. I'm actually looking forward to trying the shampoo and conditioners as well because I think they're amazing products. It's great to see more Afro hair care products that are more organic and fair trade and cruelty free and all these things. And it's just they are so lovely and fresh. They are just amazing. And that was it for my beauty products for the month. Then, as you might know, you might not know, so I'm running a half marathon in May in Gothenburg and I'm doing the Jettebosch Valvet and it's 21 kilometers or 13.1 miles, whichever you prefer. And yeah, guys, I'm starting to get feel ready. I was really not ready a few weeks ago, but starting to get there and feeling pretty good about it, but also because I got some new stuff. First up is a pair of leggings these ones and it's from Puma and I was holding them the wrong way so these are from Puma and they're like kind of halfway like just below the knee and it's just my perfect length like I don't want all the way down when it's getting really warm outside and it's just getting too hot I just prefer that kind of knee length on my running leggings and what I'm always looking for certain things in my leggings are first of all these laces to actually tie them up so they sit up, sit perfectly, not too tight, not too loose. And because what I hate sometimes when they start losing the what's it called? The, um, so yeah, sometimes it's like you know, they don't sit as well after a while, and you just start like running and trying to pull your trousers up. And I was like, it's never no, it's just a no no. So having always lasers up, they always keep them fit for longer and they will sit exactly what it's supposed to be and you don't have to worry about anything and what I just love about these is like they're so snugly, so tight and they just sit like a glove like it feels seriously like you have you don't even feel like they're there, they're so good and I've, I used to always be massive like Nike but I used to always buy all my clothes from Nike and recently I started to bought a pair from Puma and I realised actually I prefer them so much more like I think like they just fit me better. Some other things I really like about these is the reflect thing on the bottom of the legs. So if you ever go out running in the dark or anything, the cars can see you properly because it's all lights up. Yeah, they just really quite high waist as well, so it sit quite nicely, it makes your figure looks a lot better. And also another thing I always look for is a little zip in the back for a little pocket because so yeah, in here I just hide my key where I'm gonna hide you know, get back into the house again, otherwise I don't know where I will put it. And then also these little sweets. So this is uh, Beyond. So it's kind of like mini 
uh, snack bars where it's this is the berry one I normally have a huge range of different ones and it's only 61 calories they're raw vegan gluten free dairy free soy free and they are perfect for like a little bit extra energy so I normally have like in a half marathon I normally go through like three of these and they are boost of energy and it's like as soon as you're feeling like tired like hungry like it's having one of these and I just feel so much better right away yeah this absolutely few more ones are absolutely new favorite leggings they are like if you can just feel them they feel so good like I just yeah I love them and I'm gonna be wearing these as I'm running my half marathon and another thing I also will be wearing and it's these ones and this is the A6 DT 1004 and I absolutely love these. Uh, it's funny, I went to the London Marathon store and it's got a lot of really good help. Like, the guys in there are so amazing. And I, yeah, I love it. Like, it's, I got so much. Like, this was actually in the beginning. Like, I tried three different trainers on. And first, this was my least favorite. It's, I think mainly because of the color. It wasn't normally the color I go for. And then I was just like, the more you switch one, I tried on, tried it on. I was like, actually, they fit so good, and I was ending up buying them because I'm like, it's not about the color; it's about supporting my feet and I have comfortable feet. So it's a really good balance in the sole, and it's just really supported, especially like on the heel. It's a little bit higher up than I normally go for, so it sit really like glued up around the heels. It doesn't rub up and down or anything like that. But then it goes a little bit wider here, so and I also have a size up what I normally would wear. So they are a little bit bigger, especially around the toe around here, because when you're after running for quite a while, you're starting to get a little bit, your feet starting to expand a little bit, and it's just getting too tight, which was my problem for my last half marathon I did. I was just could not, like I just want to take my shoes off the last five kilometers. It's just like no way. So that's why I really wanted to invest in a new better pair. I don't feel as tired quickly and my feet doesn't heat up because also it has a ventilation system so the feet just doesn't get overheated which I felt like my old shoes they did so yeah I'm just really loving it and it's so supported and it's just going to be so good for all my runs and everything I'm so excited about this and yeah I like from day one I just did a, like a short little run and then right away I did my long run the next day and they didn't rub at all, they didn't do, it was no problems at all, so I'm just super happy about this ASICs. It's the first time I tried ASICs as well, and I'm seriously impressed. So, hopefully, my half marathon will go well. Uh, it's right in the middle of moving to Sweden, so I'm just a bit like, what, what am I doing? But I'm super excited, and I can't wait. If you are out there, especially you Swedes, if anyone running is the Bosch part of it, Please comment below, I would like to step by the and yeah, I think it. And yeah, it would just be absolutely awesome. And I can't wait to show you more and next favourites, I'll have my bling and be like, yeah. Hopefully if I don't pass out somewhere in the way. But, and I'll be in Sweden. My next favourites, I'll be in Sweden. This is crazy guys. Cool. So, as is my last favourite in London. I hope you like this video. I hope that you will follow me to Sweden. Continue to watching. So please subscribe so you don't forget about me. And I hopefully see you very soon. Hello. I love this for like when I do wedding hairs and all hair ups and stuff. Because it's got such a good hold. But for myself, I'm starting to really get into more natural. Uh,